Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. So today we're talking about a problem that I think has become kind of more common, especially in the last few months in Tanky. Now, ever since Tanky first released Augments into the game, at first they were considered just these minor improvements that you could get for crystals. Now, back then tank coins didn't exist. So getting these different Augments for crystals was actually huge back then. And I think the original idea for Augments were to be these very minimal gameplay changing type things, but overall would be better to have an Augment than not have an Augment. They were just meant to be these minor things that could impact your gameplay just a little bit to be worth using. But I think in the last year or two, we've started to get augments that not only change how the turret works, but also can make or break a turret, as in this augment is either going to make your turret the best turret in the game, or if you don't have this augment, your turret's going to be pretty mediocre. And I think augments have become a big problem, not only just with how impactful they are in the game, but with how much Tanky has been focusing on new augments. Now the first big problem I want to talk about with the all the new augments coming to the game recently is the massive increase in time to kill because with these new augments your dps goes up which means it's a lot harder for an average player to keep up with these augments which promotes a heavy defense and camping style gameplay because when you die basically after two or three seconds from a super broken augment there's no reason for you to push into the enemy base because you know you're gonna die so i think these really broken augments tanky have been adding have massively helped the whole camping style that we've seen in recent tanky line which i think we can all agree is a terrible gameplay style. I think the augments also create a pay to win opportunity. Now you can also argue that in the past supplies cost effectively just as much as these broken augments did because yeah back in the day it cost 20 bucks for 1500 of every single supply. That was a lot when you went through about a thousand supplies every week or so. So yeah back then it definitely was expensive but I think it's probably a lot more expensive if you're unlucky to get these super broken augments and containers because the containers are a luck system which I'm not a huge fan of. And then another big problem with recent augments is I honestly they feel like they're used as filler awards. For example the whole lunar new year update we got recently the only new item we got was an augment for striker when we already have three or four new augments we've gotten in the last month or two and that's basically the highlight of the event other than the crisis nerf but the crisis nerf is just a patch update gameplay update it doesn't really add anything to the game so for four weeks the only thing new we get is a brand new augment which we get all the time i think tanky uses augments as a just massive filler reward and we end up getting far less real updates because Tanky's working on just new augments every single week. And the problem with changing this is that Tanky probably makes a big amount of money off of augments. I think if they put that effort into skins, less expensive skins, but more of them, they would make so much more off of people buying new skins. Because when they only release a new skin once every three to four months, and those skins end up being some of the most expensive skins in the game, you're not going to get that many people purchasing for them. You get, of course, the probably dozen or two dozen so people who are willing to spend $500. But I think if you made a skin that took only about a few tens of dollars to get, you would have hundreds of people who would get it and most likely get more money from that. So I think that the problem with the augments is, first of all, they kind of make Tanky lazy by just adding new augments instead of adding actual real things that the game needs because, you know, that's the way of making money. They also create more pay to win opportunities for buyers, but then I guess it is luck based. So it's a bit more fair than I would say supply is purchasing. And then also these super broken augments increase time to kill, which means the camping play style is massively promoted even more. So definitely let me know what you guys think could be done about this. I think Tanky could slow down on the new augments or at least add augments that drastically change how the turret performs. Because the augments like Helios or Spear drastically change how certain aspects of the turret perform, where sometimes you'll have new augments where all it does is give you increased damage, which isn't really an augment. Definitely let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to use Creative Tag Taspens. I'll see you in a future video. Peace out.